We are a dedicated team of hardcore outdoor enthusiasts committed to conserving hunting and fishing traditions. Although technology changes, we still strive to entertain the everyday outdoors. If you like fast-paced, hardcore southern hunting and fishing action, keep up with us and hold on. We are 704 Outdoors. Seven Hundred Four Outdoors TV show is brought to you by Barefoot Archery, North Carolina's leading archery dealer since 1966. Welcome back to the Seven Hundred Four Outdoors TV show. This week our adventure continues in Texas we're hunting with the guys from Aluminum Fab. Right now we're going to go check out their facility and all the awesome products they make that we're using on this hunt. And then we're going to see if we can't get some more Texas swine in the big frigs before we head on to Victoria. You all, the guys are out here. Aluminum Fab. Waller, Texas. I got a couple of their, uh, their shops here. We're going to go and see what it's all about. See where all the magic is done. And uh, check out these feeders we've been telling you guys about. So uh, right now we're trying to find some ammunition. He's got us hooked up on a place to go. So let's we'll see if we can't go get it. Pick up some ammo before we head to Victoria to hunt with Jason. And uh, I believe uh, Medio Creek. So we got another night here. And hopefully uh, we get on that big group that got away from us last night. And uh, old Josh, be a little quicker on the trigger. <laughs> 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 so our, no, I mean, this is our, this is pretty much our display rack that, uh, that we've been putting in our stores and, you know, different, you know, Bucky's and different places that, uh, you know, that sell the stuff, that sell the yeah. stuff for us. So when you, so if a store orders these accessories to put in a, in a retail space, you guys are actually making the stands and everything. Yes, so sir. So we, it'll be, this I mean, is, that looks great to put yep. it in any sort of store. So we have the display stand and then we outfit it you know if you want the so basically we have a 50 pound road feeder right here All right and then the 100 pound road feeder we got the small cargo carrier for your coolers and then our 50 pound over here is just we got a ditch extension right, right here yeah i saw that thing on the uh, you know UTV last night. It pretty yeah it's uh just a regular two inch slides in and yeah. helps get your the feeders away from your UTVs or ATVs or front bumpers, back bumpers, yeah. and yeah, I saw it when I saw it on the back of the UTV last night before we went on. I said, man, that is pretty slick, pretty slick riser. Yeah, this is just one of our display racks, other we'll put in stores, and, and people come in and purchase the stuff, and we'll restock it. Right. Mm -hmm. now the, how, the capacity of this one is what again? That's a hundred pounds. Hundred pounds yeah. versus fifty. Versus 50. Yeah. So these are the two sizes that you have on the. Yeah. So these are these are our two cargo carriers. Yeah. Uh, you know we like the 45 port coolers. The smaller fit great in these. Uh, we've gotten up to 70, 100, 120 port in right. the big one. Yeah. Very lightweight. Light, very light. So the. You know, and I tell you that that big kill rack I got on the back of my truck right now. I mean, I gotta put it in, pick it up, and try to, to try to get the pin in, in get the pin in, and it's so heavy compared to. Man, that thing looks like it would weigh a ton. It does. It being it's so, it's so, so light. lightweight. I like the round bars you get on the ends. It's good for straps, you know, strapping yeah. it down. Absolutely. Taking road trips and. Yeah. That's what you need right there, Glenn. Hmm? Old dog box. Yeah. Good after my dogs, we got that. <laughs> Hey, I got the first round of dogs. It's your turn no, to get this no, round no, of dogs. No, no. no, come on now. <laughs> no. I got the first round. It's your turn. Yeah. Huh? Yeah? No. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? No. No. Yeah. 
Looking for the best archery experience? Barefoot Archery in Charlotte should be in your sight. Whether it's backyard recreation, hunting, or 3D competition, we have the right equipment for you. In business since 1966, Barefoot Archery is the authorized dealer in the 704 area for Matthews, Hoyt, PSE, Baron Mission Crossbows, and we have a large selection of recurve bows. Our experienced staff services most compounds and crossbows and can help you make the right choice for your archery equipment. From professional to backyard shooting, Barefoot Archery will get you on target. Barefoot Archery, 4410 Old Pineville Road in Charlotte. A portable cleaning table you can put up a little bit of space to work with. All this, this can hook up to water anywhere, yeah. it just drains right out the bottom. Good workspace. You know, I got a bunch of guys down on the coast. You know, Glenn, oh, that would yeah. be, uh, they do a ton of. Uh, Flounder, and then they do uh, stingray boat fishing trips and stuff like that. Yeah, fish cleaning station. Uh, Dude, ideal. I ideal. Both sides still look like that. And that's perfect because it's big. Even if on those shrimp boats and stuff like that, most of that stuff, yeah. rigging and all that stuff, is aluminum on those boats. Yeah. Right. Hey, man, yeah, I'm telling you, I've been thinking about that. Even like, uh, it'd be good for ducks and everything. No, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Some baits and all that. Dove hunting, duck hunting, all of them. Yeah, I mean, that's a just a... If you got a water well, you literally just... It's got a hook up right here, you can hook it into your water hose. Screw it right in, it's ready to go. Yeah. Uh, there it is. Now you have some free water. You can drain it twice and just goes... It just goes down if the customer wants to add an elbow out the back or the side where they run on your feet. My hunting truck right here. Just kind of explain this 50-pound road feeder and the advantages of it. What I don't like about putting a road feeder on the front of the truck is you can't see it. If you build this one tall enough, you can see it just over the cab. You can see if you're going to hit anything. Um, this thing weighs 12 pounds, keeps the weight off the front bumper, holds 50 pounds of corn. Other advantage of this feeder is it throws just out the two sides and out the front, so they're keeping the corn out of the radiator and the grill guards. Um, other advantage of this is, is that Get the feeder on the front of the truck. Allows you to use your tailgate. Stay out of the way. Get your workout done. You know, uh, huh? 12, oh, 12 pounds. Oh, look out! Look at there. It's a lot heavier than your guitar. <laughs> I've eaten candy bars heavier than this. <laughs> That's nice, man. Yeah. That's so cool. We could have hung out at Aluminum Fab all day, checking out the cool stuff they make there in their facility. Now make sure to head over to our YouTube channel and you'll be able to see a few more products that we just didn't have enough time to feature today on the TV show. Not to mention one wicked hunt camp. We're going to tease you guys with a little bit of shots from it, but make sure to head over to our YouTube channel to see the full feature of the hunt camp as well as some other products at Aluminum Fab. <laughs>
Dude, where are you? I can't believe you spent this much money on hunting clothing. Are you okay? You spent $300 on a pair of pants? I told you to buy the huntwear stuff. You could have saved so much money. Are you coming or not? I don't think I'm gonna make it. Idiot. Get more for less with Huntworth. All right, y'all. So this is what we're going to do. So we came to this tree last night and them hogs were down just on the other side of where that trap is and that's where we made a run for it to shoot glenn ain't feeling all that great with his back so he can't make that run so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit right here on this tree and we've got the big tom blind from cooper hunting we're gonna set it up right here and if you see that mowed spot in the grass that is actually where smoky and I just got done running all around and feeding right in that lane right there. So we're going to set the big time up right here, right on this tree. We're going to set the chairs. We're going to set everything we need. And that way we'll be able to shoot and see the feeder is right in there in that cage, right? And so it's open. Now usually what they do is they have it up so that hogs can't get in there. The deer can jump in, right? But they open it up so that the hogs will get in here for our hunt, right? So, as you see right there, he's got the big time open. We're going to set it up right here. And then that way they'll be able to shoot down in there when the hogs come out tonight. So we'll go ahead and get set up. Damn, they're more thicker, boy. Mm -hmm. Them things are no joke. They're going to be all across there. All right, guys, we got the old Tom set up. All the tripods, chairs, everybody's on the buggy right now. The dang feeder just went off, so we got to abort. And so the feeder went off. These hogs were going to come out here. Well, night two has officially started. The big Tom is set. All the bait's out in the field. I've got my Black Widow Deer Lures Hot Horny Hog, and I've sprayed the entire front of that big tom. Now, it wasn't too pleasant when the wind was in our face, but if you guys remember from the last episode, that Texas wind is crazy, and it's going to tell on us in a heartbeat. So what I wanted was I just wanted to spray that whole front of that blind with that Hot Horny Hog. That way, when the wind did switch, it wouldn't be as bad, and it wouldn't tell on us. But... It worked a little too good. Before you knew it, we had two boars trying to chew on our toes. Well, old Jay got a shot off. Unfortunately, the other big boar, he got between me and the ranch house, so I didn't pull the trigger. Hey, safety first, guys. No hog is worth taking a shot towards a residence. Uh, so I just watched him as he ran away to freedom. But hey, the night's not over. We got some more hogs to kill, and we're just getting started. So the plan worked. However, the wind started swirling a little too much we knew that this big tom setup out there in the middle of the field wasn't going to work long. Uh, so we decided to get mobile. We got together with Teal and Dustin, jumped in a UTV, and headed out to go see if we can find some hogs and some other properties.
Seven and Four Outdoors has been doing business with House Pawn and Gun Shop for over 15 years. They have a wide selection of handguns, shotguns, rifles, and ammunition. Shelves are always stocked with the best gun accessories, cleaning kits, and more. If we ever run into an issue with our equipment, House Gunsmithing Services get us back in the field for our next adventure. Their award-winning customer service is sure to earn your business too. Pay them a visit at 595 Church Street in Concord, North Carolina and tell them 704 sent you. Celebrate 50 years with Barefoot Archery, the leading archery dealer in North Carolina. Carrying the best archery equipment and accessories available. Offering on-site service and repair by highly trained technicians. Every time we go on a trip, whether it's a boat fishing trip, hog hunting, deer hunting, we come here for all of our archery needs. And Jesse has all the equipment we need to be successful on our TV show. Find Barefoot Archery on Facebook or at barefootarchery.com. Come on by and see us today. So wouldn't you know it, the very first property that we pull up to on the UTV, I look out with a thermal and there's a boar out there in the field. I could see him between the rows of trees. And I tell the guys, hey, there's a hog, but he's coming across us and our wind is blowing straight to him. So the guys back the UTV up just a little bit. I jump out and me and Josh are heading straight to this boar. So we're running down the fence line. At times I pick up, looking out the boar, and I can see him, he's still making a move, and he's actually picking up the pace because that Texas wind done already told on us. And I see him pick up his head, he's trying to get a strong smell to see where we're at. And I look at Josh and I say, you got him. And he said, don't wait on me, the battery light's blinking. That's right, we're out of batteries. But you know, this pig, he was coming home with me. So I threw up the rifle, dropped them. The frustrations have built so much during this trip of all of our many stocks of the animal busting us before we get the camera set up, before we could get everything going, that I gladly, gladly took the shot on this boar and he's riding back to the ranch with us. We got it done. The uh, all 243 by DNA firearm systems put it on them. We, uh, we have had a tough, tough night. Everything you think of with the scopes malfunctioning on the <laughs> on the night vision to the wind. Yeah, man. Man, people told us the wind was bad in Texas. Man, we believe no it. No idea. No, we didn't even. We couldn't even tell you. I mean, we've. I can't tell you how many times we stalked across this field. I can tell you every spot that's been rooted out in this field. <laughs> right now, you know. And every time we get out there, the winds in our face. Winds in our face. Just when we get set up about to shoot, the wind switches and the hogs are gone. Yeah. But uh, tonight, like I said, we, we tried several times here on this ranch. We uh, called it after a while, came back and said, man, we just, we need to try something different. And these two guys come save the night. Sure. Yeah, I oh, was uh, Teal and Dustin. And uh, they come and hang out last night. You guys seen them, you know, and pass them here and there last night. Um, talking about different tracks of land and stuff. And we did go that one track yes, sir. that we went to last night. What do y'all call that place? Uh, we call it Kelly Road. Kelly yeah. Road? Yes, sir. It's a gentleman's cattle ranching. You know, yeah. Nice eight pastures and stuff like that. And I was getting out there and tearing them up pretty bad. And, yeah. He calls us. Yeah. Dang right. Yeah. So, so if you guys know me, what I, all I do in North Carolina, helping all the farmers and everything, that's these two boys right here. They are the local heroes when it comes down to the hogs here with the dogs and everything else. Hell, every time I turn around, they had rope with them. I said, what in the world y'all gonna do with that rope? Uh, <laughs> that's why I sat there. Here I am with old AR with a thermal. he got uh, 30 out 6 with night vis, and these boys are carrying rope. <laughs> yeah, dang right. But we went and checked that, that same place last night and so tonight they said, well, let's go check it. And uh, we didn't just as soon get through the gate. And I seen it way out there. And the wind was blowing straight at them again, just like it's done. Every time we try to stock up on one, we went left as far as we could and run. That way we were out of the wind. And he knew something was going on. Yeah. He, started, he started picking up the pace a little bit. But I've been real patient this weekend. <laughs> We're pulling the trigger, but all I needed to hear was Josh. What did you say? I 
turned on this cup. I said, brother, I got one click on this battery left. I said, don't wait on me. He said, don't wait on me. I said, that's music to my ears. <laughs> we ran up there. And I was so excited about getting on this pig that I left the tripod in the, in the buggy, you know. And so I run up there and I leaned up against a tree and, uh, you know, put the crosshairs right, right in his ear and he was trotting. So I knew it was going to go back just a little bit. And uh, squeezed off and dropped him right in the dang tracks. I didn't even know it was, you know, nice little boar. As you can see his cutters, good little guy. That's actually probably the worst length for dogs. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's yeah. what I call what dog killers. Dog killers right there. Yeah, that that length right there, man. That's that's yeah, he, damage. Yeah. He sure didn't save a vet bill, that's for sure. Oh well, yeah, there you go. We want to give a huge thanks to everybody that made this trip amazing while we were in Waller, Texas. Uh, big thanks to Jason and Smokey of Aluminum Fab. Thank you for your hospitality. Uh, the hunting was amazing. Your products are awesome. We're looking forward to uh, using them as well as our longtime friendships that we developed. Uh, thanks to Dustin and Teal for getting us out and going and checking some other properties that they do wild hog population control on. Uh, these guys, they eat it up just like us. They do the wild hog removal there in Texas. And I'm telling you what, it's not going to be long before the old skull dozers pointed towards Texas again. Thank you guys. We had an amazing time. And everybody tune in as next week we're continuing our Texas adventure as we head on down the highway to Victoria, Texas to get together with Jason Brooks of Sniper Hog Lights and Jonathan Peck of Meteor Creek Thermals. This isn't over yet, guys. We'll see you next week.